again, YouTubers! Mutano3 back here again of eBay and YouTube, and owner of ToaGameEmporium.com, with another 12 pack of the Trash Pack opening video. Again, brought to you by ToaGameEmporium.com. On this channel, we previously opened a pack with five trashies in. This time we'll try a 12 trashy pack. It includes one large trash can that has mo the majority of the trashies inside there. There's a glance at the back again for the checklist and all that. We went over this in more detail in the five pack, so if you want to know more about trashies in general, check out that video. But for this one here, let's go get right into the opening here and see which cool characters we can get. So you get a total of five smaller trash cans, and you get the one smaller sized one. <clears throat> and I believe this one also has a games booklet, so we can take a look at that, because there was not one of those included in the five pack. So let's see if that's what this is here. Yep, it is the games booklet. So we can see what kind of games we can actually play with our trashies. And as FYI, I have seal packs of these available in my Amazon store. Link is in the video description box below and on my channel homepage as well. And I might get them on toygamerprime.com in the near future as well. So we got take out the trash. You can stack up the trash cans in a triangle formation. Take, take it in turns to knock our opponent's trash cans over. Winner is the one that knocks all of their opponent's trash cans over first. So you throw one trash at a time at the trash cans to try to get them all knocked over. Garbage strike, also for two plus players. Each player sits evenly spaced in a circle with a large open trash can in front of them. So this size. Players take take it in turn to throw one of their characters into an opponent's trash can. If a player gets five characters in their trash can, they are out of the game. Game continues until there is one player left. And we got throw it in the trash can for two plus players. Place a large trash can a set distance away from you. Take it in turns to throw a character into the trash can. 10 points reward for every character you get in the trash can. Minus one point for every character that misses the trash can. Winner is the person that hits 50 points first. That could take a while if you're not very good at it. And then stack the trash for one or more players. See how high you can stack your trash cans. Trash cans. If competing, the last player to stack a trash can without making the tower fall wins the game. So that would be stacking these ones. And you can see they there's an indentation in the bottom, so they can stack and they're not like fitted. There is some you know, movement there, but the handle's not gonna make them fall because there's an indentation there that it goes within. So anyways, that's the games. And here again is the checklist, which I'll reference to if I can find them quick enough, tell you the numbers and stuff of these guys. So, first off, we'll take these little guys out. Those are kind of cool little containers that they're in. And these are stretchy, as you can see. So, they're kind of like squinkies. These are obviously more geared towards boys, gross things. They have the pencil holder there, so you can put them on your pencil top as well. Gross out your friends at school, whatever. So, you can see, again, very stretchy, especially like the ears. I don't want to do it too far in. I don't know how stretchable they are, if you can just stretch and stretch, they never rip or break or anything, but anyways, let's see. This one I'm going to guess is a bin critter. Let's see if we can find him. Might be that one. Looks a little bit different, but I think it's number 116, Trash Rat. Looks like a rat anyway. And then this one is going to be, is this Hard Rubbish or The Grubs? Looks like it's The Grubs. And let's see, he's green. Not the off cheese. Um, can't find him quickly enough, but he looks a lot like the scum gum there. It's number, oops, number 017. Not the right color, but he's probably on here. I'm just not seeing him, but not the big a deal. So, let's see what else we got here. Just squeeze the can, it pops right open pretty easily. This looks like, is that a sneaker of some sort? Something that's vomiting, I guess. Mm, do, 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 do. Toxic trash room, perhaps? Let's see. There's smelly sock, putrid boot. Let's see if I can find it on here. Crud can? Nah. Um. Show this on screen to me. You can find it. Looks kind of like the toxic trash room, but. Um. I'm having trouble finding these, and there are so many of them. Oh, it's up here in the grubs. It's awful pie. Number 033. So, that's a pie, I guess. 
a little taller than your average pie and it's got feet but anyways moving on here maybe i won't show them on the checklist at all but i'd like to know if i get you know ones that aren't commons here we got some sort of soda bottle looks like that's probably let's see that being the grubs it's blue seems to be easier to look for the color first than the actual design i'm not seeing that quickly either but oh there it is. Hard rubbish. It is a bashed bottle, number 53. I think those are all common so far. Perhaps all the rare stuff is in the large trash can. And ah, this one's actually the rat that we thought this one was. So that I said look different. You can see there, that one is the trash rat, number 116. So then this guy, which is also blue, which one is he? Is he a bin monster? No. Bin infection? No. Not sure which one this one is then. I'm not seeing him offhand either. And I thought he was the trash rat. I don't see any other blue ones that look a lot like him. It's not a scabby cat. That's another blue one in the bin critters, but so if you know which one this one is, feel free to comment, let me know. The number and the name would be appreciated. And then the big bin here. I if I remember right, I think this one includes two glow in the dark ones. Where'd I put the packaging? Um yeah, two special edition glowing trashies inside. So we should have some glow in the dark ones. Oh, cool. These are actually individually packaged and wrapped too. I'll keep them in the baggies to keep them in pristine mint condition. So if I get singles of these on TokyoInform.com, you'll know that they're in great condition, especially the ones that are in the baggies here. So this is a little bin sect earthworm type thing. I believe that is the mucky maggot. That one is uncommon, number 90. Oh, sorry, rare. Yellow is rare. Okay, next up here. Not sure if that's a cat or what exactly. Let's see, it's green. Ah, that would be the scummy squirrel, number 133. That's a common. Next up, another blue one. Another wormy type looking one. Let's see, probably in bin sex. Looks like that is trash a pillar number 104. Sorry for not getting this in camera all the time. I'm trying to look at the sheet and then look at the camera and I'm often in the wrong spot. So sorry about that. Here we got a purple one. Let's see. There's a handful of purple ones on here too. If I can find him. Um, where are you? Purple, purple, purple. There he is. That is a stench fries in number six. Also a common. Let's see. I'm not sure what the glow in the dark ones are because I don't think we found those yet here. So we got, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, I'm actually, these are probably the two glow in the dark ones because I don't think I found either of these on the sheets. And these are the two that are visible. So I'm going to guess that those are the glow in the dark ones. Correct me if I'm wrong. So again, comment, let me know if these are the glow in the dark ones because I don't see what other ones would be. So next up here, we got another purple one. Looks like a gnome or an elf of some sort. Let's see if we can find, oh, there we go. Bin monsters. That would be mangles, number 142. Also a common. So I didn't find any ultra rare ones, at least not yet. Let's see who's next here. Here's some green guy. Looks like it might be a stale hamburger since it's got the color of hamburger buns there. So that would be in the grubs if so. And looks like he's right there. Stale bread, number 22. Also a common. And then our final one here, which I think is a common, so I think this is visible in other ones. I believe that's an apple core. So let's see. Can I find it? Is the question yellow? Awful pie, grot dog. And there's a different colored rotten apple. Where's the rotten apple I want? There we go, 15 and a common rotten apple. So mostly commons. We got the two special edition glow in the dark ones, which I believe were the two visible ones. Um, this one I think was, this one was rare. I don't remember any other ones being rare or anything else other than common, but Anyways, that concludes our rather lengthy open here of the 12-pack of Trashies. If I do more of these, I probably won't try to find them on the sheet. Maybe, like, in the... I'll add annotations after the video is over or something like that. 
or put in the video description box like which ones were not commons after I look them up just to save time in that. So if you haven't already done so, please subscribe. You can then get email alerts for our future videos. Feel free to send us your friend requests. We accept them all. Give us a big thumbs up for our great Trash Pack Trashies pack opening video. Check out ToyGamingApartment.com for their toy and gaming needs. I'll try to get Trashies added to their either seal packs or singles at some point. And again, I do have the seal packs available on our Amazon store. Link is in the description box below and also on our channel page. Just click the Amazon link in our channel banner or find the link in our link section. So I thank you all for watching and I'll see you all next video.